All right, so let's just go ahead and dive straight on in. Um, Capcom held the Resident Evil Showcase last, or not, what's what's today? Sunday, yes, on Thursday. And it basically, like, we, we all had a bunch of speculation going into, like, oh, are they going to do re- re-releases or, like, remaster versions of the original three games? Uh, it was mostly just Resident Evil 8 stuff. Um, we'll, we'll get into everything uh, in more specific details, but it was Resident Evil 8 stuff. They announced the Maiden demo for Resident Evil 8s. As well as reverse a PvP shooter, and I I think they touch on the movie, but that's whatever. And yeah, they they literally touched on the movie. They were like, "Hey, a reminder: the movie's happening." No, it's not a. It's not a movie. It's a Netflix series. Yes, there's so much Resident Evil stuff coming out. Like, yeah, they basically just like reminded us that it was happening, and like that was it. They're just like, "Yeah, "Yeah, this this is still happening." Bye. It's like, (laughs) oh, but where's the date? It's weird I, to think that even in terms of like release schedules, ever since two came out in 2019, we've had a Resident Evil main like a mainline Resident Evil game for three years in a row. Once eight comes out in May, I'm curious. I'm curious to think because I know that they were saying that Resident Evil Four remake can't, won't be expected until uh, like 2024. Is that what they were saying? What was that? I, I, I heard things about the Resident Evil 4 remake. Like, we can't expect it probably until oh, 20, 2024. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be getting into that. They didn't actually touch on it in the, um, in the, showcase, the showcase whatsoever. But, yeah. but, but um, uh, I am curious about what's, what's coming next. Because a lot of people were saying that the showcase was very, like, underwhelming in the sense that it was, like, only 20 minutes long. You know, it I, was underwhelming in the fact that they were teasing with the like gifts on Twitter that they were using. Like they were strategically using gifts from like the original trilogy and from Resident Evil Four. So it was almost like they were teasing what people wanted, which was the port of the first three games, not like the the like remakes or anything. And what people wanted to see the Resident Evil Four remake, they were almost teasing that, but then they didn't even like show show those it was it was like a weird well, th- oh we know this is what you people want but they didn't show any up i think you brought up a fair point at least before if they had announced resident evil 4 remake which would have been like a juggernaut of a uh, official announcements that it would have probably eclipsed resident evil 8 a little bit they don't want to eat too much oh, no, into their, totally into their own food what i before the event what i was expecting was it them to at least just confirm the fact they were doing a resident evil 4 remake and not like showing anything big kind of like how they announced the resident evil 2 remake like all those years ago where it was just a dude standing in front of a screen and was like we do it like we're doing it that's it you're not (laughs) getting anything else i just kind of was imagining that's what they were going to do was just have like one like maybe the director or like the producer just be like hey we're doing this it's very very early we just have a logo and that's it like i was i was half expecting them to do it like like that so that they wouldn't take away from all like the Resident Evil 8 stuff. This this would probably open up a whole other different discussion we probably don't have the time for, but mm-hmm. I really wish the games industry kind of just adopted the movie model just like, yeah, I don't know, we're working on something. It might be out in 10 years, it might not. They, they, they just don't care if people know if things are like, even like in the earliest um, fetal stages of production. It's The game industry is like very well, tight I think about it. I think that's well, the reason for that is because um, like directors and producers and actors, like people who are involved with movies are a lot less reachable, I feel. And when, uh, if a game is like, if a game is like revealed to be being worked on, uh, people will literally track down the, the people working on it and like hound them and hound them and send them freaking death threats and shit. Uh, to get information out of them. And so it's like the harassment level is is there. I -hmm. think gamers are specifically equipped to be shitheads. Yeah, unfortunately. (laughs) But anyway, we we could go on that for like forever. Um, But let's just go ahead and dive straight into the showcase, specifically for the Resident Evil 8 stuff. So just general (laughs) impressions. What did everyone think? It looks really fucking great. Like I... I don't think we were expecting anything less than that it's going to look really fucking great from a sequel to 7 that was taking everything that people loved in in 7 and everything that people wanted at least change. And I think, like, like, like they showed enough. Honestly, story-wise, I think they showed too much. 
at least in my honest opinion, because the one thing about Resident Evil 7 that really kicked so much butt was the mystery going into it. And while we know that there's still mystery with Resident Evil 8, like them revealing that there's finally like vam- vampires in Resident Evil and like werewolves and stuff, I just think they showed like a little bit too much. Like I would have liked to see a little bit less. I I'm sorry, I go have to um <laughs> sorry I looked over at the show notes <laughs> and I just fucking <laughs> saw what you were saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, for those of you that can't see the show notes, um, Jose was typing uh, under vampire ladies, "Mommy, please step on me." <laughs> Everyone's so enthralled with giant uh, vampire lady. And no one's talking about werewolf, Chris. So I'm just going to be here in the corner of the room screaming <laughs> until the end of time. Um, <laughs> until someone finally <laughs> l- listens to me. <laughs> I'm going to say my first impressions then. Um, so I th- I am fully enthralled with Resident Evil 8. Mm-hmm. I, I literally... I'm sitting here just like every single day that passes by. I was like, is May 7th here yet? Is May 7th here yet? Is May 7th here yet? Because I literally <laughs> bought it that night, pre-ordered it that night on Amazon, uh, the deluxe edition. And uh, I can't wait for it to come in. But uh, the, the I think the one thing that I was holding out for that I, that I, I had a feeling they would bring back and I was really hoping and praying that they would bring back is the freaking is the merchant is just is the merchant and then not only that but they also are bringing back like the the um briefcase inventory slots and so i know it's like small but it's a big deal and i loved resident evil 4 for for one for one of those one of those reasons being the inventory and another being the merchant so i think specifically i'm happy for the inventory um, or the uh, cache whatever coming back because uh, replaying seven, I didn't remember that uh, pulling up your inventory does not pause the game. So like yeah. I'm scrambling around trying to fumble like, oh, shit, I need to equip this weapon because it's not on my D-pad. It's on my quick select. Mm-hmm. And uh, th- that, that's, that's definitely horror in its own right. But just in terms of like, fuck, why, why can't I'm fumbling right here? I can't grab my shit. It's, I am uh, curious. I am curious if the inventory will pause the game this time around. I would assume so coming off the heels of uh, two and three. Which uh, did that, but but with the so with the uh, merchant system back in place, that means that we're gonna get to collect and find treasure, which I'm super excited mm-hmm. about. I yeah, I didn't I didn't really care for the antique uh, coin system in seven. There's like I don't rem- remember how many coins specifically were there, but um, I I did a whole freaking. Uh, video essay in Resident Evil 4, like how specifically the merchant and how finding treasure like incentivizes you to like go out of your way to kill enemies. I'm curious to see if that actually pushes eight into more of a action direction to like, yeah, don't run away from me. He's like, yeah, go the fuck out of your way, murder every single person that comes across you, <laughs> clear this whole village. <laughs> uh, whether you'll be suplexing people left and right, I don't, I, I don't believe so. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, Mesa? Any uh, general impressions right off the bat? I, again, I literally have not seen any like like that initial tr- teaser that people were talking about the big vampire lady from. I didn't even see that, so I have literally seen nothing of Village except the first. Trailer. What do you think of the tall vampire lady? <laughs> Knowing nothing <laughs> about Village, what do you think of the tall vampire lady? I mean, I guess I like her hat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is a pretty dope hat. <laughs> I've literally She's seen one standing picture. directly in front of you, just looking down. I don't, down know, I don't even really know how tall you go, she is. Ma'am, I really in. like your hat. Oh, so <laughs> she's, she's like actually one picture. She's approximately eight feet tall, which is yes, which I is remember taller, someone, yeah. which someone is on taller, Kotaku did the math, <laughs> which is taller than Nemesis. Yes. Mm, so it's like Nemesis, but cute. Are you saying that Nemesis what you, isn't, isn't? Yeah, what are you trying to say? Nemesis doesn't, to say Nemesis, Nemesis doesn't have a hat. That that's that's the key uh, difference, Mr. right there. Mister X but had a Mister X had did a, have a hat. He was he was a little cutie chasing you around. <laughs> 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 Especially if you have that mod where all he's wearing is a is a banana hammock that I has like, like has like the little tiny umbrella logo. On it. Yeah, I do. I do like how they're like really digging into the uh, vampire and castle aesthetic, especially. If, so I'm going to jump around real quick just to the demo. Uh, the only enemy that attacks you is like one of the lesser vampires or whatever. She has like, okay, I think it's like really, really quick. Flies. 
so I played the demo. You you played the demo, Jose. Yes. Corey, did you play the demo? Yes. Okay. So all three of us have played the demo. Mesa has has not. Just heads up, people mm. like who have played it here and who hasn't. Okay, continue. <laughs> oh yes. Um. <laughs> so yeah. So they dedicate to like, the vampire thing. Like she's able to like not not disintegrate. She's able to like vaporize herself like into bugs and like fly around able to like shoot them in your arms and stuff um i i don't believe that there will be like legit vampires it, it's going to be like some kind of weird virus nonsense but for all intents and purposes i really want the new resident evil games to just like like go completely fucking buck wild make it like a weird anthology series where you're just like pulling out like traditional monster tropes and whatnot well she does take a chunk out of your neck if you're caught this is true. the eight demo and that's just flat out vampire shit <laughs> like i mean to be fair zombies also take chunks out of you yeah which is like the way the way that she does it is like so fucking vampire that honestly i i kind of mad that it took this long that we that like we're getting like virus vampires and virus werewolves like i think it's taken too long um I if you played metal gear solid 4 you you'd figure out uh it's not actually a vampire it's just nano machines the whole time so well i expect, don't think expect snake to pop up yeah. be nano machines nano hypnosis yes <laughs> so and also i am um, if you know obviously we're gonna if we're going to be able to uh explore the entirety of this castle this castle is enormous and um not only that but if instincts about resident evil in general serve correctly the castle area is like maybe the middle part of the game and that eventually we'll probably be going down into a lab or the floors of the castle are going to be like first half of the game midpoint of the game well no because the first part of the game is like going through the village you know I'm, i think i'm pretty much with Corey on this like it, it's going to basically emulate the structure of four where you're in the village you go to the castle then there's going to be some uh lab i, I don't think they're going to do a resident Evil four like bring you to like a military island or anything like that but mm -hmm. um even in the in the trailer they put out um i, f I forget the big big vampire lady's name uh, oh, Demetrescu like, or something. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like Demetrescu or something. I don't know how to spell it off the top, of my head, but um, she's she's talking to someone, just like, oh, how did you let him escape? So, I, and they have a there's a shot in there where there's a, like a big giant fight between you and like I think it's like three enemies and like one big boy with a hammer. I'm just like, oh yeah, cool. They're they're doing the big first village fight. That's literally like the first ten minutes of Resident Evil Four. It's probably what like chases you into the mansion. Mm -hmm. like it's like oh you you can kill the the like tiny enemies but you can't kill the big one like turn back to resident evil one style where it's like we need to get somewhere safe where's the safest place oh this really dramatic mansion slash castle in the middle in in the middle of the woods mm -hmm. i do i do like that it looks like there's going to be more enemy variety because in seven it was basically just mold enemies there was like the regular ones one with the, like the blade arm and then what was uh, basically liquor mold enemies and then uh the bosses like jack and marguerite lurking around but here they had like what what looked like molt like a uh, monk cultist like hanging out in the dungeon like with like swords and shit they have the villagers they have werewolves vampires so it's looking like it's gonna have a lot more variety in that regard as well so so then mesa hearing hearing <laughs> all of us talk about this mm -hmm. and all of the things since you haven't seen it but yeah. just hearing all of these details what what do you are you, does it make you more excited about it how do you feel i mean i've always been interested <clears throat> yeah it sounds like a lot like um obviously it sounds like a lot like re4 um which yeah they're, they're definitely doing that remake um uh yeah like it's just, it just yeah it seems seems pretty 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 interesting yeah def do, definitely yeah. definitely gonna go for it I do and like they are, that they specific. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Corey. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say the obvious, which is, which is, um, of course, this round they are still keeping to the first person point of view, um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. With Ethan still being faceless, but <laughs> yeah, don't even get started on fears, that. Corey. That just that makes. Why the fuck can't we see Ethan's face? Like even in all the cons of dirt, he's like strategically like <laughs> his face like this. 
I think I told or Sarah like, this, I think it was yesterday, just like, I would be down for Ethan dying almost immediately in the story, and yeah. he just plays and Chris. Just play, like, werewolf Chris, I don't know. <laughs> Ethan dies, like, ten, ten minutes in, it's like, okay, bye! <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, you, you got your whole game, you got your ten minutes of fame, goodbye! I, I do like that this is sticking to um, the first-person perspective. I, I was talking to Sarah about it a bit yesterday when we were doing the stream for Seven, I think it's just something very specific about the camera perspective that is inherently um, it, it, it's it puts itself more in a position to be horror and that everything's directly in your face. It uses like a I think that the FOV is like by default on 80. I'm not sure if you can change that on console, but everything's directly in your face. And if you're playing with surround sound uh, headphones, it's even worse because um, like like. Um, three is the remake of three is pretty action oriented and then two def not as action oriented as three but it's still more action than seven like seven is is just straight up horror and i think the first pe first person cam perspective helps a lot and uh they they did do a call out with in the um in the village uh showcase i just like yeah uh there's going to be an emphasis on blocking which you can do in seven so you're not even necessarily dodging attacks like you're going to have to let a dude swing at you in the face and like hold up your hands to uh try to mitigate some of that damage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was never uh, good at blocking <laughs> yeah i never blocked. <laughs> it was there but i never used it so i doubt i'm gonna use it again in this one uh cory you mentioned it earlier but uh the merchant is thick. He, he thick. is. He's very big. He's he, a very. He is the duke. Oh no. He's yes. yeah. He's he's not. He's not called the merchant. He's called the duke, mm -hmm. and he appears in like random spots. He just like he just like he just like shuffles himself into like little like corridors that he like sits in, and he's just like Ethan. Hello, come he looks like um, my way. He looks. He looks like one of those royals in Elizabethan times that would eat a lot of cake. <laughs> but like again he just like squishes himself into like tiny corridors and he just sits there and he's like hello ethan i am kind of disappointed it's not gun. the same uh merchant from four but it is what it is i hope uh, they address his, like weird I, fucking cousin i hope they address the uh the reason but in this one with the merchant like why nobody attacks the merchant well, you could attack and kill him in Resident Evil Four, and you would no, get your I'm, money back. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about like nobody in like in the surrounding area attacks the merchant. What's What's well, funny probably is probably because he sells them stuff that they can't get in the village, and if they kill him, then no one. If else you look can at his that. eyes, it's it's hinted that he also he's also infected with a plagas, and so they wouldn't be attacking him. But they never really go in depth in it. It's just kind of speculation. I, I, I do I do suspect that it is probably a form of Las Plagas that we are oh, dealing yeah. with in this one. Or um or it would most likely be a form of Uroboros than Las Plagas. Because <laughs> in Resident Evil five there was constant talk about them selling that virus to like the highest the highest bidder and stuff. Yeah, so the Ouroboros was um, that one. Yeah, and the Orosporus was like directly derived from the Plagas, and the mold mm -hmm. uh, has a very uh, similar uh, visual um, resemblance to it as well. Um, so, for for those of us that played the Maiden demo, let's, let's go into that specifically. What did everyone think? It was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, yeah, I I mean, I suspected it was going to be really short, um, and they were saying that like. For those of you saying that, you know, who wanted a longer demo, um, just stay tuned for, you know, around springtime when they're going to they're going to release a meteor demo for every for all the consoles. But see, um, I am I'm fully under the impression that this is going to go like the Resident Evil 7 demo because there was a bunch of doors that you couldn't go into. And what they right. I don't know if people remember the Resident Evil 7 demo, how that updated periodically. Like every couple of weeks, they would put in a new like puzzle. Or they would put in a new, a new item. I have a strange feeling that that's what they might do with the Maiden demo because that's because the original Resident Evil Seven demo was released on PlayStation Four only. X Xbox didn't get it. But then once the demo finished updating and was a complete demo, X Xbox got that demo. I'm if I'm I remember hopeful, correctly. I'm hopeful so that I, they'll do the same, but. 
I, I, um, I, I would have to look up the dates, but Res- the Resident Evil 7 demo also was also um, coming up on the hype of PT. And so people kind of saw that demo as like emulating PT in a bit, like, like how... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? How obtuse it was with some of the puzzle solutions and then adding stuff over time. Yeah. So some of that you can kind of like chalk it up to a bit of marketing. And I I, I would say like maybe that interest is to it. Oh, it's I understand that. People coming back to it. And with just with just how many doors in the eight demo that you can't open. And the one thing I also noticed is when you would press triangle to look at your items. Once you got the amount of items that that was in the demo, only five of those ten item slots were uh, filled. Yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that they'll do it. I'm I'm just mostly saying so, that it, the reason why it was mostly there before was for marketing purposes and taking advantage of the kind of like hype and interest in PT. Uh, what were you going to say, Corey? So um, I do have a technical theory about about this. I'm not not to say that Sarah is um, wrong, but um i i for now i think the reason they came out with this very short maiden uh visual demo is what they called it um is because there was early on there was skepticism about um about resident evil 8 uh excuse me about resident evil 8 not being able to run uh as good on ps5 versus the Xbox Series X. So I think this was their way of being like, no, look at this demo for only PS5. This is a visual demo to reassure PlayStation players that Resident Evil 8 will run just fine on PS5. Well, another reason that it's on PlayStation 5 was uh, uh, industry leakers then revealed after the event that Sony paid close to $4 million for that demo. And because... Sony has the the uh, the ad the advertising slash the licensing rights for Resident Evil Eight. So, which is why when you noticed during the uh, event, it it always either mentioned PlayStation Five first, or when it showed the trailer, it didn't show any X- Xbox symbols on it. It only showed PlayStation. That, mm-hmm. There's also a precedence too for um, I, I would say even to a greater degree with uh, Resident Evil Seven having VR. Um, specifically made because Sony paid for it. And yeah. it, uh, Xbox doesn't necessarily have an equivalent for it, but it also wasn't on Steam either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But no, yeah, that 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 demo legitimately only exists because Sony paid them $4 million for it. <laughs> All right. Overall, then. I would say like, yeah, the demo was short, but it was a nice reminder. Just like, hey, yeah, this is basically seven. I think they did a, a damn good job with um, with the setting, setting up... Um, Maybe not some of the puzzles, but just like walking through the environment and having to backtrack to see uh, what's changed because you heard a noise behind you. I think I um, saw it explained really well as a escape room. Yeah, that makes sense. I read mm-hmm. online one one publication described it as a horror escape room. That pretty much was like the the ambiance of what Resident Evil 8 is is going to be, which I 100% agree with. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it felt like to me. It felt mm-hmm. like a scary uh, escape room. Yeah, it was um, it was very short and sweet, and um, so so the full game's uh, currently slated to be coming out on May seventh, which my birthday is May sixth. So technically, yeah, it's coming out the day after my birthday, but we're on the west coast, so that means the game is going to be unlocking May sixth at nine p.m. So I'm going to count that Happy as birthday my to birthday. You. Yeah, I can Happy only birthday. hope that GameStop delivers my collector's edition on a appropriate day. <laughs> 